300 Entertainment, the home of Megan Thee Stallion, would like to congratulate Megan Thee Stallion on her recent BET award. Sixinshoes.com. Six and Shoes is a high-end online shoe store with a huge collection of stunning footwear and accessories. Step up your look with Six and Shoes and accessories from global brands and local designers. You can count on Six and Shoes to elevate your style quotient and stand out in the crowd with stylish footwear and accessories. For more information, go to sixinchshoes.com. Deja B Coloring. Deja B Coloring is the home of adult coloring books that help busy women relax, de-stress, and create while providing positive images of black and brown women. They have adult coloring books that celebrate black love, help you turn your dreams into reality, mommy and me coloring books, and much more. They even have color and sip kits that you can use to host your own color and sip events. It's not just a coloring book with Deja B Coloring, but an experience. For more information, please visit www.dejabcoloring.com and you can follow them on IG listed below. All Jonesy Morning Show reunion people get 10% off by using the promo code Miss Jones 10 Deja B. Coloring. What's up? This is Michael Sean for Miss Jones Morning Show reunion and mobile break guys have changed the game. Their mobile brake repair experts will come to your house, office, or anywhere you'd like to have your brake repair service, saving you time and energy. Many companies charge a premium for convenience, not them. It's just a benefit of their unique business model. You can also book an oil change with a book brake service. Mobile brake guys, changing the game. Tired of fake lashes that leave a mess? Or have you looking like you've got caterpillars on your face? Well, the Diamond Brink Store is here for it all. They've got natural mink lashes that are cruelty-free, reusable, super soft, and comfortable. They've also got a wing 3D effect. Check out the lashes at the Diamond Brink Store at myshopify.com. This portion of the Miss Jones in the Morning reunion show is brought to you by Hashtag Photos. From weddings to private events, let Hashtag Photos elevate your next event with the all-new Mirror X interactive smart photo booth. Mention Jonesy in the morning and receive the VIP red carpet experience. For more information, visit www.hashtagphotos.com. That's the word hashtag F O T O Z.com. This portion of the Miss Jones in the Morning Show reunion is brought to you by our friends at Sarah Brown Caterers. With their new location in Oak Bluffs, Martha's Vineyard, you can make a reservation now. Go swim, enjoy the island, and come back for a catered meal. Plan for your friends. They'll cook and cater for you. The information's right before you. Sarah Brown Caterers. Hola, Elouvle. 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 Hola. Como esta usted? You're on the Spanish island? Essen. Uh, oh no. I thought I was a. Okay. What up, niggas? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually doing the most. This is the only place I'm getting the good enough light. Straight from the terrace. Hey, fools. Hey, family. What, uh... Being here on July 5th, you already know it's going to be a, it's, we're straight off of Drink Champ. So, ladies and gentlemen, men, women, children of all ages, kings and queens, welcome to episode one of the Miss Jones reunion slash the bullshit continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I guess so. Oh, okay. Good. Okay, we'll take I'll it. Okay. It. We'll go with it. I see the tan. I see the glow. I see you glowing, Joe. I, see I was wait. I was waiting for you. I to see it. it. Yeah. <laughs> you tan way better than I do. So good job. Thank you. That don't look a tan glow, but I'm gonna go with the tan. All right, I'm gonna go with the tan. It <laughs> don't look like tan glow. Ah. I'm giving a chick those tans once or twice in my life. Yeah, yo. Oh. Kirk ain't even here. I'm by myself. This is the drink champ glow. Oh, mm. yeah. Yeah, we all got it. Yes, right. as, as we should, because one on the show is all of us on the show, because I told everybody's business. 
<laughs> yeah, we know this. <laughs> Are we research? It is what it is. I cleared your name. You did. Thank you. <laughs> I did. I told the truth. You know how it feels to tell. Now I know how Mike Sean felt when he did his one man show, which you guys need to check out on YouTube. Mike, please tell them the name. You Relapse know again. Relapse again. My struggles with the addiction. I give out my truth. And uh, Jonesy did the same on Drink Champs on a huge platform. And I was I, drinking, so I, I I relapsed too. You relapsed. Well, you never was un, unlapsed, but you know, you, you did well. You did. I was proud of you. You did well. Thank you. Yeah. You was on some bullshit, but you did well. You was on some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> So how's the aftermath? What's what's been going on? The phone has not stopped ringing. Mm -hmm. Nori has called with a few fabulous offers mm. and opportunities. Thanks. And other people are calling, and uh, but I'm out the country, so I really, bitch. What you mean? You better answer that motherfucking phone. <laughs> answer every phone call. I wish you would not answer the phone. See, and that's all, nigga. So, yeah, I'm answering and it's good. And my peers are calling. And for the most part, or for the part that's coming to me, people respect, they respect the talk, the, 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 uh, the conversation. So thank you, Nori and DJ EFN, whom when I reached mm. out to without a pause or a second thought, EFN, you said, sure, come on this show. So thank you. Let me clap it up for you. So now, you know, I've been reconnecting with a lot of people and still booking our show because this reunion, oh, we're at like over 5,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Appreciate you. All right. So I, I got to ask this because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a geek right now. I'm geeked out over this. <laughs> I'm geeked out that we did drink champs. That, that yeah. we did. That we did <laughs> drink champs. We did. And I'm trying to get over, like, you know, you get that adrenaline rush and you got that high. So, but, but being that I'm there in spirit, no matter what you do, except having sex, listen, <laughs> I'm never there. I had to clarify that. He's I had to clarify there. that. Give me one or two questions that when they hit you with it, you were like, let me take a second. Let me take a pause before I, before I actually uh, answer this. Because uh, in a split second, because I know you didn't have enough time to think about it. I definitely took a pause on the flex and clue questions. Um, I had to take a pause on the, uh, was it Kim or Fox? Not really. Kim, or, when they asked me Kim or Foxy, um, you you guys saw. Yeah, because you said neither one of them fuck with you. I mean, right. Like, and and it's okay. And, mm. and maybe you know, maybe times have changed enough that you know they are like, oh. I don't even remember what I was mad at Jonesy for. A lot of it was radio stuff. Mm -hmm. People don't like you discussing them in entertainment news, even though they're headlining. Mm -hmm. But yeah, th there was neither. But Flex, I really needed to um, take a, uh, a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Flex be emotional. And um, yeah, and I and and there's certain folks that I'm just not that I have to be aware of, of not rocking unintentionally or otherwise. The funny thing about that is when they ask you the question, I'm so geeked out over it. I feel like I got to answer the question too. So in my head, you do. I, I was conflicted. I was <laughs> conflicted. Like I felt like I had microphones like in front of me. <laughs> right. In front right? Of you. And I was like, well, clue is cool with envy. <laughs> So I was leaning towards Clue. <laughs> I was like, I had Clue in my mind. And then I was like, I said, uh, but we can't front. Like, Flex did a lot of shit. He broke a lot of records. There was a lot of times I was in the Holland Tunnel going through it. And he was like, the bomb was dropping. And I was I was rocking with him. And then what was your answer? I think you said neither. No, did I say neither or did I say both? You said neither for Kim and um, Foxy. Kim Foxy. I think and I said both. said both for Flex and Clue. Clue, because Clue is from Queens, so he's down by law. Right. And Flex, money. Is, and Flex is from Hot, so he's down by law. Right. And then How when you, you but then when you said that, I was like, good answer. Like I felt <laughs> stress yeah. off of me. Yeah. Like yeah. I felt like I was like, yeah. 
That's right. Good no, answer. you're right. You're right. You're right. It, it felt like Family Feud with Steve Harvey. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. That's that's how I was. <laughs> you're like, I, we ain't got to pick. We ain't got to pick. Love is love. I was like, right. shit. And I was he like, start, he start, <laughs> good. thank you for saying that because I thought y'all wanted me to pick because he started out the gate. Yes. He started he out the gate with the whole trick daddy said Beyonce can't sing. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, oh, okay. Uh, but that was a nice setup because I thought we were going in one direction. The and Beyonce. He, yes. And he flipped it. Swung me back. That nigga Mary. rocked me to sleep. Mm -hmm. no. I told him too. Very nice setup, Nori. Very I nice. Said, we have a terminology, Nori, on Miss Jones in the morning between us, where we, we have levels of interview mm -hmm. and, and rock them to sleep. <laughs> it's like the, the top, top, when we know we got a heavy hitter in there that we need to confuse and, <laughs> confuse. and spiral and trap and trick. <laughs> and you rock me to sleep. Well done. Well done. Interviewing <laughs> skills are impeccable. Him and EFN, they're really good. No, they were really good. And the fact that you, when you went with the Mary shit, you ain't really, I, I'm thinking, like Tay was thinking, I said, oh, so I'm holding my breath. I said, what are we going to do? But then you were like, she may not be technically the best thing about who the fuck is. is yeah. right? I was like, Ooh. wow, said, good bravo, work, Jonesy, on bravo. that shit right there. And then she was like, and then I realized, then I realized that maybe it wasn't the beef I had with Mary. Mm, maybe. Okay. It was My beef was Diddy. Diddy, Diddy. Mind Diddy. blown. Poof. Look, as we watch it on the vote, I'm like, oh, okay. Well, Diddy it is. All right. You know what it was. It's the same thing. Edited. Right. <laughs> it is what it is. You know what? I wasn't even thinking of that. I'm glad I was not thinking about Diddy owning Revolt because it might have prejudiced my answer. Mm -hmm. no, she did. And I she... like the... Go ahead. I said, I was saying, and I like the fact that they didn't cut it out, right? R listen, it is hmm. what it is. Ride it. with it. They left it in. So I think probably glad that. it wasn't so much worse. <laughs> and enough. Mike, you notice she also paused when he asked her, was there an artist that fronted on her and had to come back around for a circle? You remember who she mm. said? Was it uh Ooh ha What's the rise now? Yeah. Now. What there you want go. now? What you want now? <laughs> I said, oh shit. Yo, I was bugged out because I'm thinking, like, well, she dated him. How could he front on her and not support early on when they were dating? That part, I mean, I was I was like this. Go. What's the answer, Jones? Go deeper. Go, go, mm -hmm. talk about it. What's there a better answer? I think there might have been a better answer. Was there someone that had to come? Oh, Kevin Lyles. Remember that? <gasps> mm. Kevin Thanks Lyles to, yeah. was the man that was, from what I was understanding, was interested, I, and I guess not, in signing me to Def Jam. And I had all my little hopes and dreams. Mm -hmm. And then when I went to him, it was, oh, yeah, no, we're thinking of going in a different direction mm -hmm. and blah, 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 blah. And then years later, I'm this radio, you know, girl on the number one platform in New York mm -hmm. decides to write a book and thinks he's just going to walk up in this little girl's morning show and promote it. Now, I don't know if it was Jay Black or if it was on Researchers Watch. I shut that shit all the way down. I think it might have been on my watch. I think it was yours, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that was my watch. And I got multiple phone calls, as I usually did, <laughs> um, about getting you on the show, half of which I probably never told you about because, you know, the rule was don't stress her out. That's the rule. So we all collectively behind the scenes knew our limits for the most part with what we could share or not share or push and, 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 and not push. Understood why, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to get tossed out with him. Shit. No, <laughs> no, no. <she> didn't. <laughs> no, I just felt like, first of all, I'm not interested in your book, not interested in you mm -hmm. as an author. Mm -hmm. And you weren't interested in me as a singer and you weren't very nice. So no, thank you. Mm -hmm. We don't need any more of those inflammatory shows. Mm -hmm. mm. That would have been interesting if you had brought that one up, because I would have loved to hear Nori's response to that. Yeah. You might get a chance because there's so much. We never even covered Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. There's so much to unpack that we didn't even get to that part of my life. No, that's the absolute truth. 
because I kept I kept waiting. I mean, after you, you know, fucked up our friendship for like 30 seconds with saying stuff that I didn't know about, I got over that. <laughs> Tell me was, about it. It was fucked up for like 30 seconds. It was Alan, what are you talking just about? Give one, Mike, give one example. What, what didn't you know that she just that she told Nori about? Just just long about conversations. The, oh, the long, the long conversations. conversations with uh, oh. I don't know, with it's icon right. with one with an icon, Tupac and uh and Moni. And and, and I realized because I critic I always get on Jones because Jonesy has ownership over me and she gets very protective. So mm-hmm. she'll shit on people that I actually worked on that I worked with before. Like she'll okay. shit on them. She'll be like, you know, fuck Dee Dee, fuck that. And I'm like, she's nice. Uh, fuck, I don't care about niceness. She, but Not she's wanting Mike. But at that moment, I felt the same way. I was like, ain't that about a bitch? <laughs> I said, because I know somebody in this world knows about the, I guess, those other two. And I was like, wow, she ain't never said <laughs> that those other two. Those other two knew about it. I keep saying. It was long conversations. You gutter minded people want to believe what you want to believe. No, because my mom called me and I told you my mom called me. (laughs) And Christine called me and said, Michael, (gasps) (laughs) Jonesy's okay. And I was like, what are you talking? What do you mean, Jonesy? Okay. I heard that lady, that lady Wendy, that lady Wendy (laughs) said she had a three thing. (laughs) (laughs) and i was like first of all i'm disgusted my mom even came close to saying threesome she was like a three thing i said no 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 that's just that's tv i'll call Tres, you back mom i'll Tres, call you back Tres leches. <laughs> oh no oh no i love his mom she always cares i'm telling you when our moms ride for you you know you're good because even my mother calls. She didn't call, She hasn't seen this, but she'll call and check in. And she traveling where? Who's she going with? When's she right. coming back? Mm-hmm. And, I now, love th- it. That you bring that up, Mike, with the Wendy Williams and Jonesy being a hot topic. With Wendy being your friend, you think that was 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 it a good piece? Did we did we all agree on that piece? Was it fair? Was it balanced? Did I tell you what happened? I told you that she called me the night after, the night before it was to air. She had already taped it. So whether oh. I was on deck with it or not, it was it was going down. OK, so she called and said, Jones, <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of having to circle back to you R&B chicks from the 90s about how to get your shit down right. Ooh. Who the fuck you talking to with me? Oh. Wow. That's my friend. Oh, wow. He's like, I'm just saying. That something like that, you should have dropped on your show and fed to there. Same thing she said. And I said, I didn't say anything. She goes, Look, you inferred, we assumed, so it happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not how this works, Wendy. She's like, We're done. It's out the gate. Like, it's out the gate and running. And uh, we, we were on the phone for about four hours because after she berated wow. me and Mary and Kim, about the things we haven't done necessarily the best way in our career. I had to say, I can name one thing that I did right that you and Mary didn't. I had a prenup. Clap it up for prenups. Good ah, answer. Good answer. That was a high joker. Oh, yeah, right That's a hundred. The high joker. <laughs> that was a high joker. The and say what? What you gonna say now? What you gonna say now? <laughs> it was three hours of explaining after that. Oof, I wish I had a bomb to drop. Oof, Jesus. Uh, don't be. I may not have made all the best career moves, but I did make a life, a, a, a good life decision. Well, and, did you see? Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, her and Mary had more financially than, than I. Well, you know, that also leads into her back and forth with Miss Tabitha, <laughs> who gave her hell and the spirit of the Lord all at the same time for questioning her relationship with her husband, which was like, wow. Did Wendy come back and say something after that read from Tabitha? Not that I heard. Okay. But so, somebody put the Tabitha read to the ether. Oof. It was fire. Oh, my God. I, I, here's the thing for me. I don't think that this is the best timing for Wendy to be giving anybody suggestions on how their marriage should be run. And especially since she's in such a precarious or precocious state, precarious state that she's in right now. And everybody's looking, 
You know, mm -hmm. so if you mm -hmm. are going to say something, you need to fake it and say opposite of what you really fucking feel <laughs> just to keep the walls off of your back so you can continue to heal in peace. But she keeps going and going and going and it's getting harder and harder and harder to like for her to get that the, 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 the sympathy or the I don't know if she wants sympathy, but the empathy of the people. Because while people want to relate to you, Wendy, and they want to support you, you can't keep you got to, at some point, you got to, what does Norvi say? You got to relax. You got to relax. <clears throat> and and before I even say this, I say, Wendy was nice to me the one time I met her when she came out to Dallas and they put, she was doing a comedy thing where she performed and they put me on the show and Kevin put me on the show. So before I say this, I want to say, yeah, she was very nice to me. But my thing is, she's allowed to contradict herself on a regular basis and her fan base don't give a fuck. That's true. Like she can contradict herself on a regular basis. Like the whole thing where she says, you should have said that on your podcast. <laughs> well, the, the podcast that she said doesn't exist. That don't exist. <laughs> and, 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 and Nori, and then put you on the show and give you love. Well, when do you add, you, you got a thing called a show too. So like, if you would have done it on your podcast, you would have, she would have probably ignored that shit. And, and it would have went on the way it went on. Right. And you did. And you made a perfect choice to put it on the one, one of the biggest platforms out right now mm -hmm. is Drink Champs. Right. Right. That was perfection. We've done a lot of stuff where we, we could regret and be like, we should have done this. We should have done that. That one decision you made was perfection. Mm -hmm. It was perfection. Thank you. That yeah. means all these years of this of this job. We, 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 we mastered it where it counted. Thank you, Nori. And thank you, EFN. And to everybody, organic, um, organic whole, I'm saying it wrong. Organic foods. Thank you. Natural organic foods, because their food is amazing. And they were the food um, provider and to the entire staff, they have a well-oiled machine running there and Thanks. not to beat a dead horse, but you're right, Mike. And even after the drink champ interview, has aired, and I just checked the numbers, we're already at like 195,000 views. Nice. 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 Days, which I don't know if that's good. I don't know if it's going to fall off. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to fall. I don't know. But if that doesn't get uh, the Wendy Show people to want to invite me if for nothing else, but to expound upon some of the many jewels that I dropped mm -hmm. and the many other stories that I have to tell, to share, uh -huh. that would yes, be entertaining Lord. for her audience. I don't know what will, but I do know that now I hear she has invited Nori onto the show. And oh. there goes the bullshit. There goes the bullshit. Oh. So oh, skip, okay. right, skip right over your friend Jonesy. Bop, bop, bop. Mm-hmm even know who drink champs was she spent an hour on the phone with me that night asking me about drink champs and she really didn't know who they were she's no, trying to act like she it. didn't i don't think I don't she does it. i think it's her producers they're the ones in the street and when she was with kevin kevin was the one with his ear to the street yeah right that's right, right okay that's fair that's you know true. the the rich old jewish woman who's you know up in the fortress and comes out to shop and to lunch and to dinner and goes back in yeah, you got a unique relationship with her, yeah. You really do. And I think we all have a person in our life that we have a, a relationship with that nobody else understands because I don't understand. I, I because it, it gets to the point where it's like now she wants to interview Nori. Okay, if we go by what you're saying, you knew nothing about drink champs until Jonesy got on it. And now we're gonna do the leapfrog and be like, let's get Nori. But the reason you know about it is because she got on it. Because of my weird, story that you played. A, yeah, it's a weird dynamic. It's a weird, di but we all got a friend like that. But I, I really don't know. I don't know that we should keep them. Like, I don't know if we should keep friends like that because um, the more I think about it, I am beginning to feel a way and I've been trying to not get personal within our business, but the business is affecting my personal. Mm. Do you know what it really feels like to me? Um, and I might be completely off base. It feels a little, li a little bit like sibling rivalry, because you guys clearly have a connection. 
some days good, some days not so good. And now it appears to be this little bit of a tug of war. It feels like, you know, she's the big sister who are, who's several years older than you looking at you. You're not following her instructions. You're not doing what she's told you to do. But when I ask her and for her advice, she tells me, I can't tell you that. And she said that. She said, remember when you came to my house and you said, Wendy, what should my next move be? And I said, I couldn't tell you. Well, now I'm going to tell you. And then she tells me something. <laughs> right. Now she's telling me stuff. <laughs> exactly. Just like a sister sibling rivalry relationship, it makes zero sense half the time. I already got two of them half is that do the same <laughs> exact abusive mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe I need to rethink some shit. And quite frankly, after she watches Drink Champs, she probably, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Before don't we move know. on from Drink Champs, it was one other spot that I was intrigued with. And that was the, I knew I, you shared stories. Fuck, you going to tell us when we going to move off on Drink Champs. <laughs> what the fuck is you? I no. got more Drink Champs. Oh, you shit. got more too? Good, good, good. No, good. The, the big pun thing, when, when Nori was talking about it and the sharing the story of, of pun rubbing your nose, like I knew y'all was close. I didn't realize it was that close. Whereas though he would, you know, wipe your nose off a little sweat and y'all was super, super tight. And and I thought that was really dope to, to share that insight of those little moments because mm -hmm. that tells a lot. Somebody wiping your nose off like that. And that was a special relationship. So when you said there was no sex involved and I'm looking at all the blocks and whatever, mm -hmm. I know they had sex. I was like, how is Jones going to respond to that? I Look, um, I was still, I was still, first of all, I knew Pun before he was heavy set. And he was a very attractive man. He, he was, was a model, man. right? He, if he wasn't modeling, he could have been. Very attractive. But I think everyone knows I was in a seven-year or so relationship with Dougie. And anybody and everybody that knew back then, there was nobody that was pulling me away from that man. Mm -hmm. So I would have never, ever cheated on Dougie. If, uh, you know, and I don't have to prove or try and go, oh, I swear on my mom's grave. I'm not doing all that shit. Fuck them. But... Um, but pun saved me when I was coming out of that relationship. And even if I wanted to have sex with him, which I did not, it was too soon after the last relationship, you know, when you, you, you leave a relationship, but it's still like, you still, if that, if you and that person decide, to, like you leave the window open a little bit, mm -hmm. that's how it was. And, but pun understood that. And he never pressured me. He never like asked question it was never that he just was trying to build me back up because he saw how broken i was from that relationship and how much damage i had been going through and he wanted to remind me that life goes on your career will go on and it will go on even bigger and better than when you were with dougie and i will guarantee that well just thank god that Moni Love was never around. Y'all had a long talk. <laughs> no long talk. It's fun. Jones and Moni. Good one. I was not safe to talk. Moni, I'm sorry <laughs> for dragging you in the gutter with me. You in everything, Moni. You in every Josie joke now. <laughs> you every Josie all. joke. <laughs> Josie got every lick of joke about me. Sorry, Moni. You in every fucking <laughs> joke. If I ever see you and Jonesy together having a conversation, <laughs> I promise you, I will be right in both your faces. <laughs> Don't want to be in me. So me and Moni can never take pictures with one guy. Ever. Nope. Ever. Nope. Sorry. E ev, 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 ever. So do, so anybody reached out to you from the uh the pun family or was that all good? Is that is, oh, yeah, is, is that good or is that uh sister reached out to me yesterday because Ooh. yeah, his uh his cousin Booby, who was with him all the time, wanted my number. She wanted to ask me if it was okay. And I before I knew that was why she was calling, you know me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nikki. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing pun sister Nikki on my phone and say, here we go. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's like, no, I already told you. Me and my mother already knew how much my brother Chris, how much Chris loved you. I wish you would have told me about the royalties, but, you know, it is what it is. But you worked on those albums. So Thank you. 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 That, was, that was yours. It was well-deserved. It was nothing extra. 
why is this anybody's concern but yours? Because it's like a will. And you know how things get ugly in a will. Like we can all be brothers and sisters. But and it's mom, not. No, it is. In music business, this shit's like a will when you get publishing or royalties and stuff like that. So but this ugly was done before Pun died, not I after. I don't care if my mom says my sister did something for her while I was in rehab and I was nowhere to be found. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, wait a second. I want my peace. It gets ugly. Listen, the, the, the good side to this is Fat Joe's walking around with a high step in his walk right now. Because all these... <laughs> all these years. He's so stupid. All these years, they thought he had all the money. <laughs> Mike Sean. <laughs> I cleared that little mystery up, right? <laughs> Joe is off the hook. <laughs> Joey about Joey about to give you publishing. You ain't got nothing to do with it. You like yo, he had his check. <laughs> Come on my show. Come on my show. Say what you said one more time for the people That's up top. That's right. That's right. Mm. But uh, but again, I didn't know until recently, which is why Envy said there's some money sitting out there for me. He said I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know. It's not like again. It's not. It's like anything. After a while, the money goes down, 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 you know. Right. But I did work on that album, and he was my friend. And in a way, I feel like he felt a personal responsibility to make sure a lot of people felt sorry for me when they met me. Because at that point in our lives, no one's mom and dad had died, really. Right. Oh, wow. So a lot of people in the industry that I met felt sorry for me or wish they could do something for me. He just was grown enough to actually do it in for my for the rest of my life. Like Dougie moved me out the projects, bought me a car straight out, got me that fly apartment on, on West End Avenue, a whole wardrobe and all those things. They all felt for the love of Jonesy. Love for of the Jonesy. Love of Jonesy. Shut your ass up. It's like I'm innocent. Look, for the love of John, bitch. For the love of Jonesy. Wait till the book comes out for the love of Jonesy. <laughs> so and 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 I will also say this: the opening and the beginning of our reunion show is Dougie's record "Rising to the Top." Mm-hmm. Before we used it, I asked for permission to use his publishing. He it goes the publishing again. I'm sorry. Oh my <laughs> God, <laughs> yo. I literally will never hug you again because I'll give you my publishing. Like, I don't even know what to. I don't know what to. But I'll give you my publishing. Uh, difference. That's right. Man. He definitely said you can have it. Don't worry about the clearing it. It's cleared. Uh, hold on. I hit something. All right. I think I'm okay. Am I good? Yeah. You're good. You good. good. We hear you. you um, good. and he cleared that that the uh the use of rising to the top at the beginning of our show. Nice. Sure the fuck did. Nice. Damn, what type of vagina do you have? <laughs> you. Mike. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Oh my God. No, the love no, of Jonesy. No, pun don't know what kind of vagina. No, I had. pun don't know, but that was different. Dougie that was about Dougie. Yeah. Jesus. Busted love, Buster ain't care because he knew he was gonna get it regardless. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, yeah. and I said as such. I was like, I'm gonna stop with him anyway. Yeah. But that was um so so if we see Buster again, are y'all gonna actually is it gonna be like is it gonna be a hug? Are you gonna have are you gonna have the pouty mouth where you're gonna be like, mm, I'm not saying nothing, fuck him, fuck him. Cause Jonesy got the that's her thing, fuck him, fuck, fuck her, fuck him. Like what I know. Fuck that's why Wendy's kids. probably gonna be mad. She don't understand when I say that fuck Wendy, fuck with I don't mean right. I'm not meaning fuck you, Wendy. I'm no, just, you don't, you don't. My moment of, of skitzing. It's always it's probably always gonna be a hug when I see bus. <laughs> just cause despite and he knows I always wanted to be on a song with him. Cause we like, I don't know. I don't know. But um it will always be a hug, a very long, hard hug. Uh oh. A very make sure our bottom parts have contact. <laughs> <us. laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, it won't be that way. Nope. Nope. Because I'm dating. Oh, you yeah, got I caught know. up. You got caught up in the set. Sa- oh, you got caught, caught up, up in the business for a summer. Second. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Uh, 
You just gonna give a shoulder hug? Okay, all right. A little pound. <laughs> I said, but you know, he's the type of dude, and he knows that the place that he had had in my life. He would probably kiss. He would probably kiss me. Oh, geez, on the mouth? Probably. We're old friends like that. We're like old Italian men. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Like the visual time. on that was not good. Okay, good, okay. <laughs> Just a peck, not no tongue, nothing. Look, live a little, because niggas die a lot. That's what I always say. <laughs> well, promote, my biggest... Promote, promote, the The story that I think I enjoyed the most was the Jay-Z Nas story. Mm. I that enjoyed was... that story. You want to tell them about that story? Because I can tell you, I enjoyed retelling Watching that it. story and giving a heads up to Mike Kaiser. <laughs> that was the part I liked. So oh, you Mike. gave Mike a, so I started what did calling Mike say? The night before Drink Champs and all through the house, every nigga got a phone <laughs> call. <laughs> and so uh, what, what was when he answered the phone, because I'm certain he answered. So he answered the phone. They're all answering on the first ring now, mm -hmm. but they're not answering because they're happy to hear from me. Mm -hmm. It's that Tupac shit. So they're all answering with what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I swear to God. He's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? When are you, are you in the city? I need you to get up to this office right now. I said, easy playboy. We got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> oh shit. He said, what do you mean? I said, I'm calling to give you a heads up. He's like, a heads up for what, Tarsha? Then he goes, close my door, please. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I kind of brought you up on Drink Champs. He goes, what the fuck have you done now? I said, well, it was something about Nas, Jay-Z, a noose, and you. <laughs> and he goes, what? I shut that shit down. I shut that shit down. As soon as I found out what was going on, and I told Nas I shut that shit to his face. So you can ask him. You, I said, I was in Philly. Hey. hey. <laughs> Calm down. We're not in 2002 or three or whatever year it was anymore. Um, I said, I'm just calling him. He goes, yeah, yeah. He goes, well, what did Nori and them say? I said, nothing. They were asking me and it didn't go anywhere because I didn't. I wasn't there really. We talked more about the interview with Nas running the Power 105 and then, you know. And he goes, oh, okay. I said, but I kind of did say that you guys hadn't given me the sponsor check that you've been promising me for quite some time now. <laughs> <Thank you bitch. laughs> I said, so you want to have some long conversations? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's the funniest. It's the funniest. I had to call Ron G and give him a heads up. And that nigga was just oh, quiet on oh, the love. phone. That was all love for Ron. Yeah, but I didn't want to start nothing between him and um, Diddy and him not know. Okay. You know? Fair enough. Mm, yeah, you did hit on that. He just got cool. He just got cool. You said right. he just started speaking again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, who, who knew Ron G was producing Diddy's comeback album? <laughs> 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 With his sons. <laughs> so he's coming on the show next week. Okay. Okay. Right. So, good, good, which, good. by the way, Ray J, uh, the manager just called and they can't find Ray J. So I'm like, let me <laughs> probably at me. Wendy's house. Let me let me call over there. <laughs> so whatever. He said to me, he said, you know what? I think when Wendy uh, like is abusive to us, I think that me that's a way of saying she really loves us. I said, uh, no. Why say you? He said, cuz he said, I, I, I went over there and I met with her and I got in the car. And the first thing out of her mouth was, oh, Ray J, you're broke. You need to sell off Raycon. You need to get rid of oh. this. You need to do... She, he, she just started breaking him down. Oh, your mother doesn't pay any attention to you. Oh, 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 all these things. And he started laughing. He said, because Wendy's crazy. She don't know what's going on in my life. Like, she don't know my business. He said, I got the Zeus channel, which I didn't know was his. Yeah. Oh, that's his. His. I know it like, was all his, but I knew he had Something, something major doing it, mm -hmm. but that's uh, all his. Well, it's enough that's is Google. that he said I got Bad Girl Company too oh. coming out, or Bad Girl, yeah, whatever it is too. And and he said I have some projects, and he said I I want you to be a part of uh, of this because you're on fire right now, and 
And then he said, by the way, you wouldn't happen to have any video of that situation with you and Moni and Pac, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Ray. I said, not? are you serious right now? He's like, listen, I got the distribution. Oh, my God. He said, you saw what I did for Kim, right? Come on, Joe. Oh, Come my on. God. I mean, I would just watch it because of research, just to research for the oh, show. Like, I wouldn't watch this. You know, there's just, nothing. Just, don't bring my name in it. Yeah, yeah. Do not bring my name in it. There I mean, research for the no, show. I, I know. Don't yeah, yeah. bring yeah. my name in yeah. it. <laughs> Saying, be, use another word, studying. Oh, yeah, studying. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, research. The she was the one that filmed it. Research tape. No. It. Yeah, it was like, mm-hmm. People start spinning. I'm that it. tsunami uh-huh. sex tape. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Lord yeah. Jesus. You hit on a tsunami too. Yeah, you hit on it all. It was three a three hour interview. You hit on a tsunami, which was enlightening as well. You shared some uh, additional details. Mm-hmm. But it's good to get that therapy off your chest because I've been hearing these stories. I've been hearing these stories. We all have been hearing these stories in detail. We lived them. And well, you lived them because um, you almost got her in trouble when she wasn't you. But Tasha, <laughs> <laughs> Tasha, the one, Tasha, the Tasha. one Tasha. who told the lawyers that she wasn't there. I but... know. No, you came through in the clutch. You came through in the clutch. They called me and was like, "So," and I was like, "What are you talking about? She has, and she's home on maternity leave." And they were like, "What?" I was like. Nobody told you? Meaning Barry Mayo didn't tell you? Because mm. that would have been a game changer. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, everybody... oh. Go ahead, Jones. Sorry, sorry. go ahead. Finish. Oh, finish go. Finish. No, I was just going to say, but everybody wanted to hurry up and let, let the lawyers think what the lawyers think and get Jonesy mm-hmm. out of there, and then they all keep their jobs. Mm-mm. Okay. God, if I had a drink with Drink Champs, I would have drank right now. Because nobody's going to think this is a big deal except us right here. The fact what you said about Miss Info. Yeah, boy. That you came out your face and you actually was like, you compared everything to what you did with Star Miss Info. I really clapped it up. Yeah. I really, yeah. by myself, once again, because I was on Drink Champs. And I really, <laughs> I, I really went, I really went, you know what? That's some grown ass woman shit right there. But because the big blue that. Yep, I said, all mm-hmm. right. Well, all right. I said, well, all fucking right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. She said, you know what? Go yeah. ahead. Go science ahead. is the science. It's really no different. Mm-hmm. And, yep. and she apologized to her, too. That's what really got me. Like, she acknowledged it, compared it, and then apologized. Yep. I was like, wow. So hopefully Miss Info heard about it. No, so, I don't really. I don't care what if she really matter. did or not. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go with the bullshit. Here we go with the bullshit. Here we hey, go. Let it ride. Just let it ride. That was, that was Josie's healing, right? Because I didn't do it for her. Right. That's the first part in healing. You got to do it for you and not for the reaction that you're gonna get from somebody else. So that's, right. that's why I caught that right well, there and said, it's a- "Well said. Well said." Yo, in the big scheme of things, it wasn't, it was far from like the biggest thing in the show, but knowing you so much, it was like, y'all shouldn't have done a shot. Y'all should have free based. Like that was so big. Like y'all should just. (laughs) I mean, real cocaine. I mean, real cocaine. I mean, real cocaine. Y'all, but y'all should have. Cause I said, y'all don't understand. Jones has some venom. There was certain Mm. people that she had venom on some old on a good day on a Wednesday. And I was like, wow. (laughs) It'd be a Wednesday. We had a good day. And she'd still be like, fuck that bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that was good. I was proud of you. I was proud very, of you. Then. Very. Uh, don't take it back now. Don't walk it back. Don't fuck it up. Don't walk it <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Let it go. I also, I also enjoyed how she connected the dots for, from um, Rosenberg's interview and comments she added more layers to that I love for me I'm, I like the story and so filling in the blanks was, mm-hmm. that was great because that nigga knew he was not no producer <laughs> <laughs> him and Ebro had that shit secret or secret squirrel shit I'm from Queens and I saw the play but mm-hmm. I really I didn't care because I already had another job in Philly so I knew either way I'm good. I just go 95 South instead of 95 North. But you're not going to pull a fast one on me and then have me fail with this nigga that ain't a producer, which means now I got to teach him how to produce when I have Jay Black in the wings 
that's ready yeah. to come on through and do what we did in Philadelphia. Like, mm -hmm. let's keep the business going. Like, let's keep mm -hmm. the momentum going. Let's not <laughs> stop down because Ebro has pipe dreams of being on the morning show and wants to bring his co-host in three years earlier. That's right. That's when Tay left and they were looking to replace. Yeah. And that's when Peter, they was trying to put Peter Rosenberg in. And then, okay, got it. And then that's when Michael, mm -hmm. you and Mike called me. And that's when Ebro said, I don't want to hire you. I want the other guy. But Jones wants you. I remember Ebro was so blunt to my face. I didn't want to hire you, but Jones wants you. He yeah. wanted Peter Rosenberg. Yeah, he wanted him bad. Yeah. He wanted someone that's not a producer because he wanted him to help him set up what he's doing now. Yeah. So. Yeah, you were good. You 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 stood firm. And um, I made a confession on the sidebar. Like when Peter came in, he wasn't a producer, but he was creative. And I remember he didn't even bring this up because he forgets about me. I was like, this little motherfucker is kind of creative. I said, unfortunately, you're not my friend. <laughs> creative or not <laughs> and we're always looking for new creative on the show unfortunately however okay. uh, however we're gonna have to pass we're gonna have to pass like i i swear like yeah. you're gonna do out. something in this business <laughs> just not with us and 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 not for nothing as i think about it like all that i saw the play i saw the play i think what was at that time i was like i saw the play at some point but what was more resonant, resonating in my head was the last time I let somebody put a producer on me, it almost ended my career. Mm. That's fair. Yeah. Yep. That's fair. And you're loyal. I, you're, you're beyond loyal. That's another thing. Thank you. Yeah, my, but my, you've been my guy. They threw us together in Philly. We had never met, mm -hmm. but we connected in the, we can't fail. Mm -hmm. We can win. With your connections and my, you know, whatever it is that I do, let's see what it is. And we had a good time, Jay. Great. In Philly, we had, we made, we we started stuff. Like, we created mm -hmm. stuff. We And we gave people hope. Great. Yeah. Moment. Definitely uh, big moments. I love Philly. Philly, I love you. I love Philly. you so much. Did they ask me Philly or New York? Yes. Yes, they, they did. did. You had to choose Philly or New York. Did you say both? I think she I said, pour remember. me a, I think she said, pour me a double shot right now. Oh, right? okay. I, mean, I, mean, <laughs> Dude, I didn't remember the answer. You had to drink if you won't answer. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I, I will never turn my back on Philadelphia ever, 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 ever. Yeah. So you did a double shot. Were the shots as heavy as you described them to be? So they were mine heavy was. Bars? Well, mine was that ingenious gin, and mm. I'm not really a gin drinker. Mm. So, but I am the ambassador for ingenious gin, which uh, it would be nice if we popped up a picture of it right here. So it was a little strong, but after <laughs> all them hours, and I'm I, I needed something to numb the fucking the the, the, <laughs> the the worryation of what did I just say? Smile and keep going forward. Uh huh. No regrets nice. right now. You can do that at the hotel room. <laughs> smiling going forward keep going going see all that artist development worked <laughs> apparently because <laughs> i knew i was dropping some gems afterwards i'm like you fucking bitch how do you walk this back what do you do smile and keep going just keep going and artist development is great but they never advise you to do double shots they never in your artist <laughs> development ever said yo just do doubles and, and keep going, keep going. <laughs> and the whole Philly Queens thing, like the New York Philly thing. Listen, if you wasn't from Queens, Philly wouldn't fuck with you because you was a Queens girl. So it's like you can't separate the two. And, you know what I'm and, saying? You can't separate the two. And, and I feel like, honestly, I don't know what's going on with this whole Queens get the money movement. Yo. But I swear from the Envy, the Queens flip, the 50, because 50 got his hands in this, mm -hmm. in, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing in some backdoor kind of way, and Nori, and who knows who else, and, and, and of course myself, it's really, it's a, it's a queen, it's, it's, Queens is doing its best. Right yeah, that now. was my biggest takeaway, that Queens gets the money. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was my takeaway. <laughs> Queens get, you got to get rid of that proper S. Queens. Oh, sorry. Me. Queens get the money. Yeah, get okay. The money. The money. Get Queens gotcha. get the money. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I'm so used to Brooklyn stand up, you know. But I right, guess. right. Uh, 
and <laughs> rightly so. Brooklyn! Oh, shit! <laughs> but but in this moment, Queen is, is getting the money. Is getting the money. Got it. Got it. Yeah. The other thing I liked was, well, here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, that's what start, the response is I thought it was hilarious. And <laughs> your you know the... What? Go ahead. And I was going to say, and your Wendy impersonation was on fleek, if that's yeah. still a term. Oh, thank you. Jones. Jones. <laughs> I told her, Jonesy needs to do a bit where she's Wendy and Angie <laughs> Martinez, and they're having a conversation. <laughs> First of all, if I'm Angie Martinez, I understand why I would fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You did get an Angie impersonation on there. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> Angie and Wendy. That shit is perfection. Mm-hmm. And scene. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so effortless because I'm like in my head recounting the conversation and it's always <sighs> Jones. <laughs> it's always <sighs> Jones. The morning after they started that rumor that Biz had died, uh-huh. Wendy mm-hmm. and her producer Norman call me and it's like early in the morning and I'm thinking Maybe he actually did die. She calls and she goes, Jones, I'm here with Norman. I said, hey, boo. She goes, don't call me that. Is Bismarcky dead? <laughs> <laughs> Lord, have mercy. What are we going to do with Wendy? I don't know. And then, <laughs> and then Angie calls you with the same question. And see. <laughs> <laughs> Jones. I know it's not funny, but oh no! <laughs> Stop it! Stop oh, it! Oh, Mike, you're encouraging that, Mike. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> but 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 Angela Yee, on the other hand, is um in a. I think she's in a good place with me mm-hmm. again, even though I cussed her out about pictures under the table, because mm. I've I kind of agreed to put her name on the shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I thought you had a Yee impersonation coming next, but go ahead. Yeah, but you added her on the shirt. Added her on the shirt, and she's probably like, bitch, fuck your shirt. What? (laughs) (laughs) Put your name on top of everybody who's on top of you. Like, what? (laughs) You better be glad we let you on the shirt, Jonesy. We're all employed. Employment is overrated. I know that's right. This shit is overrated. glad we um that we had an opportunity to like just talk freely do you know what i mean with Mm -hmm. nori three hours for those who haven't seen it's on youtube right it's up for everybody like three hours long but you don't even feel like three hours because it's so so much info so much uh juicy like that's my brother for real there needs to be a part two because there's lots of stories that weren't covered. Oh, oh, easy little mama. <laughs> save it for I'm the just, book. Save I'm it just for the saying. Book. I don't know. We might need to save those for the damn cemetery. <laughs> oh, well, you all right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, everything. I don't know if everything needs to be told. <laughs> Depend on what type of check the book's looking like. Depends on <laughs> what type of check the book is like. I got look, I got a call. I got a call from every uh league from a from a player from every league that there is after drink jam. <laughs> sorry, oh, okay. okay. Yo. I know that's right. No, no. Yes. You ain't gotta respond, but shit. Thank you. Either thank you for not <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, thanks for no. not mentioning. Thanks for not mentioning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, got so, a text um, message from a hockey player. When the oh, yeah. fuck did you oh, yeah. start? What yeah, the no, what? Yeah, except for, except for hockey. Except for hockey. <laughs> except for hockey. It was mostly NBA and NFL. <laughs> oh, my God. Legend. Joe's a legend in these I streets. Forgot, huh? I think I pushed it to the back of my mind to move forward with my life. That's what you got to do sometimes. Now that I'm thinking, I'm like, wow, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and I'm so thankful that these people aren't coming out. 
<laughs> with their own book about me. Especially that little ping pong champion. I was like, you fuck up. No, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I had a paddle in his hand, FaceTiming you, talking about, listen. <laughs> That's between me, you, and the paddle. No, right. <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God, from 110th Street. No, I'm kidding. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so, I, you know, we would, this would have been, so Ray J was supposed to interview me about drink champs, but because he's MIA, this uh, would have been a show like about what's going on in the news, but I think that's pretty much all me. Ah! And you hate okay. that. <laughs> For once, you I hate- am the news. <laughs> yeah, there's some big looks. Definitely some big looks. All right. So get Are your ass wrapped? off the beach or something. Get your ass off the balcony and yes. go to the pool. Go to the uh, beach. Before that, yeah. though, can, I do want to get your thoughts on Bill Cosby. You know oh. Bill, Bill Cosby's free and R and R Kelly next because me oh, and Flip Jesus. are getting him out. Listen, R Kelly. Though, listen, <sighs> we gotta get him out. We gotta get him out. I need that music. Wait, you don't care about him? I need that music. <laughs> Just need the music so we can. You got play the it. music. Yeah, I need the new music because you know he's been writing. I know he got bars. I don't know why I said that. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to take that back. That was oh. like, no, no, no. That no was I'm good sorry. One. That was ridiculous. Oh, that was bro. that was that was pathetic. That was pathetic. No, no, that, that was, was spot on, Mike. We needed that. We needed that. Thank you. And on that note, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I, please make sure you like and subscribe, and please check out our advertisers. Check out um, Diamond Brings. Check out hashtag photos. Um, um, oh, Sarah Brown Caterers is back on. Nice. Go up to the vineyard. Just up to the vineyard. They are turning it out. They're about to have um, like a, a hip hop, like a like a Mr. C type vibe. They're trying to get Mr. Ooh. C up there or Envy. I was going to ask him tonight if he was here. They're, tr- they're trying to get one of them up there to, um, to DJ. So make sure you get up to Martha's nice. Vineyard and check out Sarah Brown Caterers. And then we also have um, Six Inch Shoes.com as well as um, who else? Who else do we have? I can't remember. Any other sponsors? Max will tell me. I said hashtag photos. Mm -hmm. Six inch heels. um, Or six inch shoes. Oh, and 300 Entertainment. Yes, 300 Records. 300 Entertainment. Yes, they're on board. And in a couple of weeks, I, whatever label Mike Kaiser runs, they'll, <laughs> they'll be on too. Good job. <laughs> Welcome, Mike. Welcome. Oh, love. Happy to have Kaiser. you. It all comes back. It all comes back. We're happy to have you, Mike. Thanks for answering on the first ring. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, have a great week. We love you. All right. Big shout out to the core. <laughs> <laughs>